Hey, what's up, YouTube? Spindle here, and today I'm gonna be doing a uh, buyer's guide. A few people have asked me about uh, which yo yo's they should start off with, or which yo yo should they buy next. And so I just wanted to make a buyer's guide because I don't have very many ideas for videos right now, and yeah, I wanted to. I thought this would be a good addition to my channel. So yeah, let's get into the buyer's guide. Um, so if you're a complete starter, I do not recommend any of the yo-yos here except maybe this yo-yo. So this yo-yo is called the Velocity. Um, you can uh, change the little dial here and um, it's great for beginners because it has a little bit of a wide gap. But the reason I don't recommend this one as much is because the gap is kind of rounded and that makes it a little bit harder for uh, catching the string or on the yo-yo so maybe this yo-yo um, and once and it, you can progress pretty easily with this one as well because you can just turn the dial to unresponsive and you can go ahead and uh, move into your more advanced tricks so for that stage of yo-yo I recommend maybe the uh, replay pro with a responsive bearing so the new edition of the replay pro which is just the responsive one or maybe the uh... or the one star because this yo-yo is absolutely amazing it has a nice wide gap um... it fits well on your finger it's a little bit of a bigger yo-yo which is easier for the um... uh... younger kids to start off with and it's very very low priced um... now when you're moving into your uh... more kind of medium like you you can do you know like the a few string tricks and you can get it back to your hand you can start you're starting to learn to bind so this is when you're going to want an unresponsive yo-yo so this is when you might want the velocity because you can just change it to unresponsive with the little dial or you can get the one star and upgrade it and you can get the replay pro and upgrade the bearing um, it really doesn't matter, you can get any plastic or any metal, uh, yo-yo. This is actually the, my second yo-yo I've ever had. It's called the Magic Yo-Yo N11. Um, this is a pretty good yo-yo, except the only downside of it is the, uh, shape of the gap, which is kind of rounded, which makes it a little bit harder to land in the gap. Um, <clears throat> and you do not, you usually don't want to buy one of the, uh, more rounded yo-yo types except if it's kind of a wide rounded see how it's wide and then it goes down those are great um and yeah yo-yos with kind of this shape the kind of flat out straight kind of curved down shape is really great uh so things like the horizon are really nice for when you're starting to get into unresponsive and the all the yo-yos I've recommended uh, right now are pretty cheap. Or I mean, like for nice yo-yo, this is really cheap. It's like forty-five dollars, which is nice. Um, and those are for your medium level skill set. Next, you are going to be getting into more advanced string tricks like kamikaze. Uh, you know, like one and a half mount stuff um, and you're, you're gonna start to want to learn the tricks of professionals and what I recommend for this skill level is either um, some nice uh, not too expensive but borderline expensive like $75 maybe like this uh, the Kirby Donut Man it's a B grade and I got it for $75 it's super nice I still use it um, and stuff like the um, the gradient, this one's a little bit more expensive, but it's also very nice for your uh, string tricks and learning new elements and combos. And then you can just get really any yo-yo you see, and it has a nice uh, price, and the shutter is also really great. Uh, it's probably one of the most uh, bought yo-yos by Yo-Yo Factory because it's super famous and Yo-Yo World Champion Gentry Stein won World Champion with it uh, so everybody wanted to have a go with it. Once you get past that kind of level and you're starting to make your own tricks 
uh, you won't really mind the price unless um, you still really want to go on the cheap side. You can go look at yo-yos that are super cheap from like Yo-Yo Expert. Um, and like things like the Rally maybe, some more plastics. I actually really like plastics and I still use a few so I use the Rally a lot. I use the One Star a lot, and I use the CLYW Yeti. This was really hard to get, but it's really nice. I don't really recommend getting this because it's going to be super expensive and it's going to be really hard to find. And I got lucky with this one because I only spent about $55 on it, when right now they're kind of going for like $80 to $90 because they're so limited. Um. But yeah, uh, see the yo-yos that I have, I kind of like to experiment with different shapes, and I found that I like this kind of shape, the Kirby Donut Man or the Horizon, those are my two favorite yo-yos at the moment. And I also recently got the turntable from my friend, which is kind of the same shape but more simplified, and then there's things like the Summit and the you know, there's all these different yo-yos that are amazing that I think you should try out. And one thing I have to say before you buy any yo-yos is you need to try the yo-yo before you buy it. How you can do this is you can go to a yo-yo competition or you can go to a yo-yo store if you live near one. Um, but yeah, you should try yo-yos before you buy them. Say you buy a rally and then you get it and you do not like it. You don't want to end up in that situation um, because then you just lost kind of like a yo-yo and I mean it's still nice but you don't really like it, you're not as flowy with it. Um, so that's one thing you want to avoid so you always want to try a yo-yo before you buy it. So that was my buyer's guide. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please, please comment what I should do next because... I'm very bored at the moment and I have a lot of videos I should make, but I don't know what they are yet, so please comment down in the description to tell me what videos I should make next. Thanks for watching.